Hello everybody, good morning. I hope you can hear me because it's really windy out here this morning. And uh, I've been just sitting thinking, like y'all know I think a lot, I think a whole lot. And uh, I did make a video which is for members only, but I'm gonna kind of try to share a little bit of it with you. y'all notice that I don't go back and forth with these people no more and you probably say Kimberly why do you keep bringing this up because I because I because I because it keeps happening um don't think for a second that I don't see what you're saying about me and hear what you're saying about me and my husband what I thank you for though is that you didn't come for my children so I have to thank you, your ass for that okay but what y'all don't know is what people go through when these cameras are off you don't know what I go through when these cameras are off or what my husband goes through when these cameras are off or even Inez who y'all just fucking with for no reason like y'all chose to come and pick at people who you don't know you never met it wasn't even a follower for real so it makes me think that you don't have a relationship with God there's no way you can know <laughs> and have a relationship with God and you just picking and poking at his people. But for those of you who are spiritual and believe in God, understand that I have ancestors that you have to deal with. I have angels that you have to deal with. I have a God that you have to deal with. And so does Latif and Inez. Okay. The reason I, one thing about me not coming back, clapping back at y'all is I just choose not to do that. But it takes so much energy for me to not come back and clap back and tell y'all asses how the fuck I really feel. It takes a lot of energy for me. But I don't want y'all to get it twisted, okay? I am who I am, and I is who I is. So don't get it fucked up. At any point in time, I can come back and let y'all have it. And y'all know how that's gonna turn out. But like I said, I'm choosing not to do that. I'm trying my hardest not to do that. I can I can spit on you just like Kendrick spit on Drake. Yeah, that's how hard my comeback would be. But y'all already know that when you come for me. You've already seen me in action. I wish, like I said, I wish the rapping beefs stop. Stop beefing with each other. I wish y'all would stop fucking with people on TikTok and YouTube because why? What are you gaining out of bullying somebody? What do you gain out of picking with people that you don't fucking know? Like for real. What made y'all come come for me and you don't know me from Adam? Other than the fact that the little no to bitch um fed y'all information about me. Um, what made y'all come for Inez? What made y'all stop messing with Inez and she's done nothing to nobody? What made y'all come for Latif? Latif ain't never did nothing to none of y'all. Y'all, and for the people that keep saying, Kim, Miss Kimberly, why do you keep talking about this? Why do you, why won't you ignore them? It does only probably 1% of people on here that would get beat up, punched on, talked about, dragged through the mud, that would ignore the shit. The other 99% of y'all is going to fight back. That is what you should do. So I don't get why people keep asking me why, 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 and why. Because clearly I choose to. I mean, how many times are you going to get punched on before you punch back? All of y'all are we eventually going to fight back. So stop acting like you some type of supernatural being that, you know, stuff like that don't bother y'all. Because it motherfucking does. I don't get to see it because you're not a, you're not a creator. You're not showing your life on social media. Um... 
And then the thing is, in real life, where y'all bullying people behind the keyboard, in real life, face to face, at 60. I'm trying to figure out. Anyway, let me get to what I was even coming over here for. I, there's a lot going on in my life. My family in the U.S. really needs me. So I thank God that I am headed home because there's things happening over there that they really, really, really need me. And um, things are happening that's... God forgive me, please. Things are starting to happen where my family is questioning God. And that's deep. When you start to... When the devil started, when God allows the devil to just attack you and attack you and attack you and attack you, at some point, you start to question God. Like, God, did you, like, get rid Like, am I still your child? Did you adopt me out? Do I belong to another father? Like, what's up? What's what's going on? Because I want to know, and I don't, I don't question God. I just now... I am. I have questions. I'm not questioning God, but I, I do have questions. And um, like I said, did you did you get rid of me, God? Are you still there for me and my family, or did you give us away? What's happening? And I know somebody watching this video has felt the same way. I know somebody has been through some horrible ass, terrible ass shit to make you want to question God. There's no way you lived on this earth and didn't. There's just no way you lived. I don't care if you're a Muslim, a Buddhist, or what, whatever. The only people that probably never question God is probably the ones because they in a whole different mental realm from the rest of us. So, um... Yeah, monks are a little different from us. I believe that from the bottom of my heart. And uh, I don't really even know what to say. I, I came on here to say so much, and now it's slipping my mind. And I didn't take notes. But I'm just asking y'all, like, leave people alone. Like, for real. Leave people alone because leave you people alone. alone. Really. What are you gaining from fucking with us? Like, do you get a paycheck? Because your views and your subscribers ain't high enough on YouTube for you to be getting paid from YouTube. I know because I'm a creator and I know what my checks are and my numbers are. And I see your check. I can see your numbers. So it, it, ain't a, it, ain't about, it ain't about the money. You're not getting paid enough from YouTube. YouTube don't even care that much about you right now. You ain't high enough up. You're not high enough up on that level. But maybe that's what you're trying to do. You're trying to diss, dog, drag, and fuck with people to get your views up, to get your subscribers up. And that ain't cool. That's like you stepping on people to get to the top of the ladder. That's like you snitching on your coworkers to get a raise. But that's how fucked up y'all are. You probably are. That that's exactly what y'all doing. Like I said, I don't, I don't, I, I've never come on here to attack my brothers and sisters. But y'all remember, y'all attacked me first. You motherfuckers came for me first, and yeah, I came back, and I came back harder than y'all ever, ever thought I motherfucking could. Because the thing is, at, at the end of the motherfucking day, my level of disrespect, of respect, is zero when it comes to me and how I feel. There is no limit on my disrespect. None. Especially when I try so hard to ignore y'all. Like I said, still to, as of yesterday, I'm still hearing shit and still seeing shit. Like, why y'all motherfuckers still got my name in y'all mouth? Like, like what y'all want to suck my titty? Y'all in love with me? What the what? What is the issue that y'all still fucking with me? Right? But I'm going to say this again. I got a lot of shit going on in the USA. And thank God I'll be there soon to help my family because they really, really need me. And when my family tells me that they're questioning God, that's deep for me because it is deep. I even wonder, like, God, why are you, why do you keep letting these people attack me just on this minute ass platform of YouTube? Like, this is YouTube. Why, why are you allowing the devil to come after me 
why? But I just ended up letting that go because, you know, I have to because I know basically y'all gonna get karma. And um, I told y'all this, this I think is a Saturn retrograde is gonna bring all the motherfucking karma. So y'all just be prepared for it because it's coming. Like I said, I have ancestors, angels, God. Okay, I have deities and entities that you have to deal with for fucking with me and my husband and I Inez. I know I'm probably just rambling, but it's okay. I want to wake up one day and don't hear no shit from y'all. Whether I can ignore it or not, I want to just wake up one day and y'all don't have the motherfucking thing to say about me, my husband. Or at this point, I know. But I've come to the conclusion, like I said, that you don't know God and you don't have a relationship with God. There is no way you can know and have a relationship with God and be attacking his people like that with no fear. Like you openly attack God's people with no fear whatsoever. Like you don't know God. See, the average person is afraid to do wrong. The average person thinks before they do wrong. Y'all just get on the cameras and just start talking shit and just stabbing people and pew pewing people and just fucking people's lives up because it's entertainment to y'all. Like Inez said, it's entertainment to y'all to watch us struggle to like her and me we shared our adventure we shared our experience in Ghana and y'all took that and threw it all up in our face you laughed at our struggle you laughed at our downfall you motherfuckers prayed on our downfall I'm, I'm just convinced that you prayed on our downfall why I don't know I've heard people say, Miss Kimberly don't mind them, they're jealous. Like I said, or I, I don't understand jealousy and hatred. So that's like I said, that's why my mind, I can't wrap my mind around that type of stuff. But at some point, you push people over the motherfucking edge. You ever seen a person snap? I mean, literally just like snap. That's an ugly situation. It is. It's an ugly situation. But I'm going to say this, and I'm going to say it loud and clear. I don't want to attack my brothers and sisters. All I want to do is love on y'all. Wish y'all could love on me back. I'm grateful for those of you who do love on me and do accept my love. I'm grateful for the people that recognize love. Because some people don't know love, so they don't recognize love when they see it. I'm sorry for you people that are so angry and miserable with yourselves and your own lives that you feel the need to hurt other people. I'm sad for you. I'm sad for your families. But either way, me and my family gonna make it through. Either way, we gonna make it through because we do have a relationship with God, even though it's getting a little questionable like God knows, I know that I can speak openly because if nobody knows me, God knows. So I can speak my truth <clears throat> because I can't hide it from him. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go because like I said, now I'm just rambling and rambling and rambling on and shit and I'm not getting nowhere. Don't you see me? Anyway. men don't have a clue I love y'all every last one of you I do I love y'all and stay blessed